uh, Rutherford. Rutherford has a hell of a sprawl. He, sometimes he'll throw his feet way in the air just to kind of get it back, right? Okay. So, so you want to you want to focus on you want to focus on those feet getting back, and then of course then your hips are down, and like your chest are high, your <laughs> arms are straight. Like you want to have straight work, arms. I was. I, I don't, do a, lot, I don't I do a lot of not. Good, What's that? Good. I would say I would, I would pick your brain about uh, philosophy about the wrestling because now you see a lot of the foreigners and even Kyle Dick when they don't sprawl where you shoot on them and they want to squat on you and look to lift or step around you and it's not a sprawl. I think that Jordan Burroughs versus yeah. Sam at, at the World Championships, if he probably yeah sprawl, that's what cost him the match. It's him sprawling as opposed to maybe planting and trying to turn and counter counter wrestle. You know what I'm saying? He got pushed out. Of that's a different. You know, that's 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 from years of experience, man. Years of experience. You know, I think he's got good defense, and he's gotten to a point to where if they get to his leg, he knows where to go, right? But he's if you go back and watch Dick, it's still hard to get to his leg. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You know? right. He don't just give you a leg. No. Right. I got. He, it. He's kind of moved to that position a little bit now, freestyle, but. You go back and watch him, he, it's, it's always been hard to get to his legs. Mm-hmm. He don't give up too many leg shots. Mm-hmm. He's a, he's a, he'll, he'll get his feet back, right? So he's moved in that position. I think he's earned it. Mm-hmm. He just got to know it. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not. My, my thing is, and it's always been, if you can't get to my leg, then it's going to be hard to take me down, mm-hmm. right? So it was always about getting my legs back. I didn't want him to touch my legs. Mm-hmm. Now, once they got there, you know, they, I'm gonna fight you to the till till the cows come home. Mm-hmm. But my first thought is to is to get my feet back, and not let you get to my legs. Mm-hmm. You go back and watch my matches, man. I'm I'm getting my legs back, mm-hmm. getting my legs back. I don't want to touch my legs, right? So, I think the most important thing is getting your feet back, getting your sprawl, being able to circle up, being able to, and I'll I'll go over this a little bit, being able to recover your stance out of your sprawl. I always do a, a two-step recovery process. So when you step up, you sprawl, it's, it's one, two, back to your feet. Okay, so when you sprawl, your left, yep, your left foot comes up and then your right foot follows. Sprawl, and it should be one, two, back up. Sprawl, one, two, yep. Sprawl, one, two. It shouldn't be four or five steps, or it should be two steps, and you're back to your stance. Yes, you hear you follow me? Yeah. Sprawl, one, two. Yep. Sprawl, one, two. Get, give, me, give me five of those sprawls, and then come back to your stance. You know, on, when you come back to your stance, you got to be balanced. You got to be ready to take a shot or ready to sprawl again. Get those hands off the mat. Yep. Good. 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 That's a that's a that's a that's a, a sprawl that I really focus with Jordan Oliver. That sprawl, just recovering his his stance from his sprawl, and just getting back to his feet, and then because because we do a lot of counter attacks, so you sprawl. You got to be ready to counterattack, right? I saw the uh, okay. we, we copied that um, bag drill for a while. You did the bag drill with the Bulgarian bag and you stay in. And yeah, you know, yeah, that was, yep. that was awesome. Yep. You could see how much work he was doing with it. Yeah, thing. we do a lot of that. Oh, that's just like uh, do a lot of that. Yeah. Okay, Kate, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. That's what I want you to do. I want you to sprawl, and then step to step to your shot. But I don't want you to take a shot. I just want you to shoot your hands to the top of his to his top of his thighs. So sprawl on Max. Max, you're in a square stance. You're gonna sprawl and then just punch his leg. No, no. I just want you to punch his legs with your with your hands. Keep your elbows tight, and you're just doing that. Okay. Just, yeah. Yep. Yeah. With your hands, hands open. Sprawl, punch, yep, good. Stay close, stay close. Sprawl, punch, good. 
Good draw. Good. 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 Stay low. You're just punching those thighs. Punch. Good. Good. I like this one, Coach. I like this drill. This yeah. is this is the stuff we yeah. need. More, more stuff like this. Drills like this. So as much stuff of right. like this as you right. can. Right. Right. That's that's the stuff we can use. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so. Okay. This time we're gonna circle. Okay, you gonna you know we're gonna go again. This we, then we'll go max. I want you to circle all the way around him. When you get to the front, you sprawl and do the same thing. You gotta be in your stance. Max, circle down low. No, no, Max, don't move. In my, in my stance. Don't move back. Yes. Okay. You stay square stance. You circle around him. Square, square, <laughs> square. Sprawl and go. Boom. Good. Do that five times. Go the other way, the other way, the other way. Yep. Get to the front and go. Keep those elbows tight. No, no, no. Good. All right, switch. Go, Max, you go, go five and five. Four. Punch, good. Short steps, two steps. Stay low. One, two, one, two. There he is. One, four, one, four, keep it down. Good. Okay, good. Break. Max, that's good. Guys, before you take shots, Try to focus on your elbows coming back to your hips before you take the shot. So if you you sprawl, your 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 elbows are coming back to your hips before you take the shot. Follow me. Your every your every shot, your elbows. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Okay. So when you come off the mat, your elbows come back to your come back to your hips. Before you take the shot, okay, Mac, you doing circle? Max, you got circle shots. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Good. Good. Your lead legs, don't switch your lead legs though. Keep, keep right, same right leg. All right, all right. He's working on the coordination stuff. This is good for him. Yeah, yeah. Footwork is essential. All right, give me some. Uh, give me five hip heights. Five hip heights. Good. space. One more. Good, good, good. Let's go again. Good, good. 20 push-ups. Go. Good. 
Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go. Uh, single legs, single legs. Get uh, give me uh, five each. Singles coming up to your feet. Yeah, you guys stay better a straight line. You get like that. You better like a double to shoot that one. Good. What's your favorite type of single leg in, in there, Coach? From from you know, I, I really don't. I, I do I do straight singles. I do sweep singles. Probably um, straight singles. Probably my best one. I do a lot of snatches. I think with with Kay's length, I think a snatch would be good for him. Right, he's had some knee problems with his with his uh his right knee, and so I'm trying yeah. to do stuff to keep him off of his knees more and use his length, and ankle pick, get it using his left hand or his, his right hand and his left knee, but right, I was just like just just snatch single. Yeah, yep, that will change. Step in, yep, and attack the knees. Attack the knee. I, I always shoot to my lock though. I don't I don't like splitting my hands. Mm -hmm. I don't like splitting my hands. I don't like going one arm around the leg. Like some people do. Uh, Oliver does a lot, but I like shooting to my lock and then rotating around, getting my feet around. All right, Max, we see five single legs. You can swing or just snatch. Just do your single. Whatever you're saying, you feel best about Good. Okay, break, break. Guys, look, whenever you take your shot, I think the most important thing on single legs is making sure that you get your feet around so you're coming up at an angle, right? And then when you get your arms, when you get to your lock, everything, is come to, everything comes to your chest and your elbows have got to seal down, right? So when you get, get a leg max, when you take your shot, boom. Now when you come up, come up. Where are your elbows? Get, there you go. Get your elbows to your body. Get your elbows to your body. Good head position. There should be no space between your your body and your – yeah, you can't do that. Elbows got to stay to your body. Okay? That's big. That's, that's probably one of the biggest things that you can focus on when you get to a leg is your elbows staying to your body. You cannot have any space. And, and, and you want to shift your lock where the lock, where, the, where their leg is not in your lock. You follow me? You want to shift your, shift your lock where it's, where it's actually to your elbow, to the bend of your arm. And not, his leg shouldn't be in your lock. Elbows, good. Good. What you mean, like, like that was going to be. Here, but you don't don't fall backwards. Yeah, give me some. You're here, and you're here. You're here. Right. Yes. Here. here. Yep. Head position. Yep. I want that head to the shoulder. Right. If that right. head's to the shoulder, you fall back. And that's going to limit. That's going to limit their ability to defend and get to their. To, and another thing, right? So, when you get to a leg, right? Get to a leg, Kate. Get the leg up. Now, turn around the other way, face, turn around so your right side is facing me. Okay, now, see where, your, his, where his wizard is coming in at? Yeah. The, the, the better you seal off with your elbow, okay, it's going to be harder for him to get to that wizard position. So that backside arm has always got to stay to your body just to make it harder for him to, to wizard. So relax, that, relax your right arm. See how easy it is for him to get to, the, to his wizard? Yeah. Okay, come off, Max. Come off, Max. Now come to the wizard. Okay? Yeah. See how you're sealing him off? Sure. 
That's big. That's big. If you get, if this has got to be a habit for you. It's got to be a habit that when you come up, you're, you're making it very difficult for him to get that wizard in there. I think he's too much like this and not enough like, like that. Well, I, I don't, I mean, he's long. I don't, I don't think it matters. As long as he got a great lock on the leg okay. and his head's in a, his head's in a good position mm-hmm. and his lock is, is tight and his elbows are tight, he's got enough length. He can reach across. He he can. He's got a lot of things he can do because he's so long. You know what I mean? As long the, the long the, the most important thing is your elbows staying tight, head position, right, and then make sure that your your feet in the right position. Do it again. Right. Shoot to the wall. Shoot to the wall. You can sort of shuffle in there. So. You have a shot and then you have a snatch. So for you, I just want to get the mechanics of the shot right. So I'm thinking you 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 want this type of shot, yes? That type of shot. Yeah. Yep. And then for the on a straight, snatch, it's on more, a straight uh, single. It's a step in and your head hits. Yeah. But either way, yeah. it's like you're shooting like a double leg, but you're just taking one leg. Exactly. I shoot my doubles. Pretty much exactly why I shoot my singles. Right. That's what you're Pretty doing. much the same. You're come Pretty in. much the same. Now, the one thing I do if I'm doing a snatch, I do, I might turn my head where my where my my ears hitting the chest, so I'm not like creating that that space mm-hmm. between my, my my body and his body. I know exactly. I might turn my I might turn my lead foot, you know, in the direction. So I'm, I'm like I'm kind of stepping. Like if he's taking a if I if he yeah yeah is my foot outside or inside you said outside or inside with the uh, snatch outside outside okay that's just, yeah. and then your your knee goes inside with the straight single though knee yep. hits inside the toe yep so, so yep do, yep do two of them and do the different shots okay. yeah. See, I've, I've seen like I know he's got a good. I know he's got a good straight single leg. I've seen him hit it. You're like, sorry, go say it again. So I, I said I know Kay's got a good single leg. That's your best shot, huh, Kay? Uh, I would say I, I find this Kay my best shot, but I, I yeah, I, I, yeah, I like that. I like your fireman's. Where are you going to that next? I've got a nice fireman's that I think you can pick up. But I but but you hit a lot of singles though, though right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, he likes to – he cuts back all the time, too. Like, he'll get – Yep, yep, yep. It's always a yep. cut back. So. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Not shoot the straight one like that. Like a- okay, let me do – let me show you this. So, you you touch him, okay? Touch, come off, and then take a shot. Yep. Yeah. And step. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Yep. So, so the timing of that is when your when your elbows come off, then you're you're taking that back step. Right, so the power is coming off. Yep. Well, now when you pull off. Ah. Yeah. Ah. You know what I'm saying? It's that C motion. It's that exactly. C it's, yeah. It's like, it's like a. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But you got to move that back foot. When my, when my hands come off, my elbows come to my hips, then I'm going to that back foot. So yes. You, you'll go. You'll come. And you'll, you plant this or, or you. Yeah. Yeah. Two steps. Yep, two steps. One, two. That's different. One, two. That's yeah, different. one, two. You gotta feel that. That's sick. Good. Good. Nice. Set levels. That set level change that they don't see coming, right? So in my hand, I'm a, I'm gonna blind you with my hands, and this is your hands and your feet working in concert, right? So the focus is. I can I can use my hands, but he doesn't know where my feet are, right? So he doesn't know when the shot's coming. I can I can 
hand fight you, but then my hands and my feet are moving differently, right? So when I, my hands come off, boom, I'm doing that two step. Ba boom, ba boom, yep. Ba boom, yes, yeah. Get that level change. Now look, when the hands come off, your elbows come to your hips. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Yep. Do that yep. with your shot now with the knee okay. inside like a like a double wing with your knee and then max it up. Good. There you go. Good. Yes. Is it do you want me to be so you're here? Take that one. Where you shoot to your knee like a double. Oh, okay. Good. That's good. That never changed. Yeah. That was hard. Nice. Go. Put this next one. Nice. Two to one. Yes. You got to go in, and you got to push off that back foot. Good. Not bad. Good. Nice. Get a little lower on your get a little lower your in, the, in your level change when you come back. Try to overemphasize. Yeah, you go overemphasize your level change, you guys. Whenever you're working on shots and practice, you want to always overemphasize your level change, right? You're not going to always level change that hard in the match sometimes. But in practice, you always overemphasize your level change. Always. Always. Because that'll get you thinking about, you know, getting low before you take your shot. Mm -hmm. instead, of, instead of trying to shoot through his hands or trying to – you always want to try to overemphasize that level change. Okay. Well, this too, the, the cue of getting those hands back to your elbows. Yeah. And that looks good. Going. That's going to be good for right. him we can work on that later. Yeah. You know, that yeah. has to take a minute yeah. to get that, but that's, yeah. that's a great yeah. teaching cue. That's, that's just timing with your hands and your feet. You know, you hand fight, hand fight, but boom, level change and you're gone. But at the end, I'll, I'll actually I'll show them on one of your matches. A couple of your matches will start review so they can see it in action too. I, I'm really yeah. right. Forget to, I'd love it. I want you to continue with your lesson plan, but I don't want you to not do the misdirection double and then get into how you, you do your, like your swing lat drop. You know, I had a lat drop set and we don't have enough space to really do it, but I want to see the, understand the mechanics of it. Where you right. Swing them. And mine was kind of like, I, I, I tried to do it like you were doing it and it worked better than actually back arching where you swing yeah. them, whip them. So yep. don't don't forget about that before we get off today. All right. All right. Okay. Um now look, on on my I do a lead leg double leg where if you say hit double leg, Kate, let me see what your double leg looks like. Good. Good. Okay. So you're doing the same thing. Now instead of your head going to the left hip. Shoot your head to the 